Hey guys, welcome to bowhunterplanet.com. Today I am chatting with Randy from Wicked Ridge and we are going to talk about the new 2024 Wicked Ridge crossbows. A very exciting time here at Wicked Ridge because they do have some great options for you guys. And again, these are bows that are priced right, so affordable for almost anybody in the world. So, And built in America right there in Ohio. So Randy, welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks for having me. So uh, what you got? What you, what we got here for 24? Well, we've got, well, overall in the Wicked Ridge line, we have uh, three new bows. I've got two new ones in front of me, um, but really excited to kind of about the changes we've got coming. Uh, we got a lot narrower with, with several of the bows, uh, picked up some speed in some other places. So I think overall uh, consumers are going to be really happy with the changes that we've made. Yeah, so we're talking about um about you said four new bows? Uh three new bows in the 10 point line. Or I'm sorry, three new bows in the Wicked Ridge line. Um, and then we have several new bows in the 10 point line as well. So uh, but yeah, the, the Wicked Ridge bows. is what I've got right here. And uh um again, really pleased with with the changes that we've that we've got coming for for 24. I think there's gonna be a lot of consumers that are that are pleased. Um, again, a little faster, a little narrower, um, uh, some better accessories, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, should be, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool because I, I don't think people, maybe people realize it, maybe they don't, but like, it is nice to see, like, I'm looking at these, these images now, the new bows and stuff. It's really nice to see some of that 10 point technology come into the Wicked Ridge part of it, you know? And uh, like a lot of the decock concepts and things like that, that, you know, people wouldn't normally probably see at these price points. So it's kind of nice that you guys are able to do that because obviously it's your tech, but it's, it's that you're able to kind of bring it down to your little brother or however you want to yes. say it, you know, um, Very definitely. you're getting that quality of 10 point products, you know, in these Wicked Ridge bows, which is amazing. So um, let's start with this RDX 410. Tell us about this new one here. Uh, the RDX 410, it's, it's been a, been a solid bow for us, uh, for several years. Um, and basically this year it got a new stock. Um, it got a, uh, a little bit faster. It was the uh, RDX 400 now. So we've got 10 feet a second faster. Um, it got lighter, it got a little bit shorter, uh, and it has the new AccuDraw silent cocking mechanism on it. So, um, again, not huge changes uh, from a you know from looking at it or or from a performance standpoint as far as speed goes, uh, but again lots of good consumer friendly changes with the little bit of extra speed, a lot less weight, uh, the new AccuDraw Silent, all those things I think are going to be well received by the consumer. It just you know gives you a better hunting experience. Yeah, it looks really good. Actually, four ten is a great speed. I mean, I feel like that's you know pretty much all you'd ever need that's a lot of speed in there. yeah well and that bow is a is a reverse draw bow so it's balanced very well um you know it comes with the uh pro view uh 400 the new pro view 400 scope um so you know again just some some nice improvements there we've changed the reticle in the in the pro view a little bit um change the speeds um where it's you know could just kind of fits with what's current uh, a little bit more and uh, just just overall really good changes uh, that are going to be well well liked by the consumers whole new stock on this bow a little bit shorter lighter um, several options on the AccuDraw storage you can put the claw back here or you can put it right behind the trigger uh, it's got the new ProView 400 um, obviously reverse draw here it's got the SDS built in um, Crank handle storage is right here. Uh, and then again, with the AccuDraw Silent, uh, just makes it a very nice bow uh, to handle out in the woods. Um, is that, what about the crank itself? Does that go uh, in the front end now? Does yeah, the crank up? on this particular stock uh, fits right here. And it's going to just swing down and out. And you can put it on either side. It'll fit yeah, that's cool. you know, this side or this side. So Randy, we get a lot for under a thousand bucks with these new bows, which is very exciting. And to be honest, I'm very surprised that uh, 
Wicked Ridge slash Ten Point can do that for under for that price point. To be honest, with the built in America bow, I think. It's yeah, I mean, impressive. with the RDX, uh, the new RDX four ten being eight ninety nine. I mean, again, it has a lot of features built in there and string dampening system. Um, you know, the crank in there, but um, like you'd mentioned, we you know we try to take that Ten Point technology and eventually roll it down into the Wicked Ridge line. Um, and it's a challenge to do that and have it still be, uh, you know, built right here in Mogador. Um, you know, we're, we're competing against, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of companies are just importing them. Um, whereas, <laughs> whereas we're doing them here right in the United States. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this bow, uh, the RDX 410, as we, we spoke, reverse draw system, uh, which you mentioned, it's very balanced because of that, because we're taking the weight of the riser and we're shifting it, we're reversing it. So that's going to be over the handle instead, some of that weight. Uh, yeah, but it's right between both hands, which makes it nice and stable. So what happens now then on the Invader M1? So we have a forward shooting. Uh, <laughs> you guys have to like counterbalance that then when it's a little bit longer like that, or is it just going to be a little more front heavy? Like how does that work generally? Well, no, neither really. Um, so we've had the M1 front end for, for several years now in the Titan um, and then in the Wicked Ridge M370 and uh great front end actually we had in the Turbo M1 several years ago as well. It's lightweight. Super smooth, super quiet. It's probably the easiest, smoothest front end uh, or bow assembly that we have. Um, but in the past, the Wicked Ridge Invader, which has been the number one seller, has been significantly wider. There's a reason more pros choose redneck blinds over any other blind on the market. Combining amazing quietness, scent control, and usability features, you have the ultimate hunting blind. Give them a call or check them out online at redneckblinds.com. Code of Silence, we're embracing better. Our focus is revolutionary concealment, extreme silence, enhanced thermal efficiency, purpose-driven functionality. Unheard, unnoticed, uncompromised. Last year, Reveal by Tacticam quickly became the most sought after scouting camera in America, making cellular scouting available to any hunter. We ask our users how we can make this outstanding camera even better, and this is our answer. Introducing the all-new Reveal X. Even easier setup, better battery life, faster trigger speed, on-demand HD photos, extended detection range. This season, find out what all the buzz is about. Get a new Reveal X by Tacticam. Uh, and so it was like 19 inches wide uncocked. Um, and this year, we put the M1 front end on it. As you can see there, significantly narrower uh, on this bow also got a new stock you're under six pounds uh on the bow weight uh also has the pro view 400 scope on it uh and the traditional accudraw so um just a, a really nice upgrade to the number one selling wicked ridge bow uh again you've got the crank handle storage up front you the accudraw built in but this m1 front end as you can see the riser is really tiny uh, and so there's not a lot of mass weight with this bow. Um, and it did get a little shorter. Um, again, you've got the multiple location for the AccuDraw claw uh, storage uh, went with a retention brush on it this year as well. So just a lot of good improvements. And again, the big thing being the significantly narrower front end um, and still 390 feet a second. Uh, but when you're cocked, you're only nine and a half inches wide. Yeah, that's a great bow right there. That's uh, so I, I'm pretty sure you guys sent us that bow. The guys did a video on that bow, which I'll launch. Part of that you'll see in this video while you're talking. But they um, they noticed that one thing Jamie talked about in this video is that um, where the string is, it's in front of the cams. Uh, I, yes. I don't know if you call that reverse cam. I, I forgot what you guys call that. That's, that's exactly what you call it, correct. You get more power out of it, right? Because it's four, yeah. more forward. It's like a shorter brace. Well, yeah, I mean, if you look <laughs> at that cam, you get you know three or four additional inches of power stroke with the string coming off the front, as opposed to being back here, you've shortened that power stroke a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's that's one of the one of the great features on this M1 front end. Uh, and again, it's not a new front end, but it's a very, yeah. uh, very tried and true front end that's just smooth, light, quiet. And I love the new stock that's been put on that. I think it looks incredible. It just has a great look to it. You know, all around, really good, good pickup for people there. 
Yeah, this this bow is going to continue to well the invader. It will keep the invader as the top Wicked Ridge uh, model for sure. The Commander M1. Um, so this is basically the newer version of the M370. Uh, a little bit more speed. Uh, again, um, you know, on this one you've got the AccuDraw, you got the ProView scope, and that nice compact M1 front end. Um, really lightweight here as well. Uh, you're right at six pounds. Um, this is on the same stock that the M370 had been on, um, but again, just a, just a, going to be a good performer um, and and just super easy to handle. Um, some people like a little bit longer bow, and this will be a little bit longer um, than the you know than the than the Invader uh, M1 that we have out now. Uh, but you're still right at 5.8 pounds uh, on this bow. So just a, yeah, a that, really nice setup. And again, nine and a half inches. Well, that makes back. sense too, because some some people are just bigger, you know, overall, and they want a longer bow to get out Absolutely. There. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Because some people, you know, I've watched so many hunters over the years come to our studios, pick up a crossbow, and they're like, this thing's way too small, you know, because it's just a short short bow but then they like the ones like you're saying there i also want to point out i do like the fact that you guys kept that dark camo for that bow mm -hmm. <laughs> going off the dark camo feel of the other ones before it yeah That's some perfect. people you know just it's personal preference i there. noticed it um <laughs> and and again this one you could get with rope sled or the AccuDraw. um so you're looking at 499 or 599 so <sighs> price point wise it's going to be an absolute home run that's uh, um that's so, a lot of bow for that money, to be honest. Oh, absolutely. I mean, wow. That, you don't. You see, even that's crazy. What was the two price options again? Four ninety nine or five ninety nine? Yeah. So you can get a, a rope sled with it for four ninety nine, or you can get the AccuDraw crank uh, for five ninety nine, and yeah, that'll so be low scope. That's a no brainer. Yeah. yeah, no brainer, guys. If you're getting it, do the five ninety nine hands down. I'm telling you right now, that thing's amazing. <laughs> And to be honest, it just is better for you. You know, you don't have to crank it by hand. It's awesome. We're continuing to to build these bows here in the United States, uh, whereas a lot of these price points, well, really everything else in these price points, you're seeing from over the pond. And, uh, you know, it's important to to keep jobs here in the United States and, and uh, you know, engineered, put together, warranty repair. Um, customer service, all that is is right here in the United States. We got Wicked Ridge done. Well, to, guys, visit Wicked Ridge Crossbows.com. You can uh, see everything they got going here. Again, great options, uh, and it won't break the bank. And that's super important for everybody out there who doesn't want to spend a ton of money or the compound bow shooter who wants that uh, crossbow as a backup option and doesn't want to spend a ton. Wicked Ridge is a huge option for you great products great prices great people and great warranties there so check that out randy thanks for joining me man appreciate it all right thank you have a good one <laughs>